Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we're going to talk a little bit about the HD Home Run Flex 4K device. Uh, I've been running a Connect 2 Duo HD Home Run into a Plex server for a year and a half or so now. It's been great. It's rock solid. They're easy to set up to use as a DVR. Um, but we've recently moved and we have more channels, which means I'm recording a little bit more and it's uh, it's been conflicting with our with our live TV viewing. So I just wanted to add a couple more tuners. Uh, the nice thing about these is I'll, I will now add four tuners, but I don't have to remove the original two. So I'll have six tuners instead of just having the four that I'm adding, uh, which should never be a problem with an antenna television. Uh, they're really easy to set up. They're rock solid. I haven't had any issues with the, the two tuner version at all. So we're going to take a, just a quick look at the connections, how to hook it up, and then I'm going to show you how to get it configured in Plex. And that's really about it. They're really quick, really easy to set up. They're, they're inexpensive and, and really easy to deal with. The box I purchased is uh, Amazon Refurb and is sealed by HD Home Run. And inside the box, you've got the, the really basic setup guide uh, and warranty information, the, the HD Home Run device itself. It's uh, just uh, about the size of my palm. The connections on the back are just RF, USB, Ethernet, and power. Underneath the tray, you've got, of course, the, the various connections, the power cable and uh, an Ethernet cable. One thing of note, this box does not include an RF antenna cable, so you'll, you'll need one of those. But overall, it's got everything you need except for that one cable, and you might not even need that depending on your setup. So connection of this thing is really simple. You've got your antenna input. There's a USB output. Um, this is capable of being its own DVR with uh, it, when if you use it with the HD Home Run software. So you don't need any other uh, computer or anything running. You can just plug a USB hard drive into there and run a DVR in their software. As Ethernet, this is how it distributes it to your Plex server and throughout your network and. Um, depending on how you have it set up to your mobile devices, wherever you might be, and then a power connector. And that's it. It's, the connection of this literally takes about three minutes. It's really simple. Um, as long as you have all the wiring where you need it to be, it's really handy to have network uh, hardwire so you don't have to run a long Ethernet cable close to where your antenna is. Apologize the mess. This will all be behind my my screen wall when the theater's built. But there's the 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 duo and the 4K that's going to go right next to it. I did have a an extra RF cable on hand, and I I pre-installed the splitter just for uh, ease of uh, installation here for the camera. One thing of note: I do have an amplifier in the wall. If you don't and you're splitting your signal to go to one or more tuners, you may want to add an amplifier if, uh, if you notice degradation of your signal quality. Uh, once the antenna is connected to the, uh, to the, the Flex 4K, you'll want to connect an Ethernet cable and get it uh, plugged into the same network that your, your Plex server is in and, and your, your streaming devices are in as well in case you uh, just want to use the HD Home Run software. That's really it for the connections. Now I'm just going to give it some power and let it uh, boot up and then we'll jump into Plex and get it configured for you. One of the other things about the Flex 4K is, as its name might suggest, it's 4K compatible. It's ATSC 3.0 compatible, which there isn't a lot of that being broadcast yet, but when it becomes available, I'll be ready for it. Only two of the tuners are ATSC 3.0 compatible. Uh, the other two are still just ATSC 1.0, but again, with the limited amount of content being broadcast there yet. I don't even know if we're going to have any of it here in our area as of today. Um, but I'll be ready when it is and two tuners with, with 3.0 should be good. So you're just going to have to download the app from your, your app store. Um, I'm on a Mac, an M1 Mac mini. So I downloaded the iPad app. You can actually do this from a phone or an iPad too. Um, 
or pretty much any device, but you download it, load it up, and the screen here, you'll notice that there's no image. The, 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 the display was fine. It just did not record that in the screen capture for copy protection. But if you go to devices, you can see it's already seeing it there. And um, it's, it's also still seeing the Connect Duo that I've been using. Um, but I'm gonna go back into the menu here and go to channels. And, uh, whoops. I'm going to go to the to the channels setting so I can make sure that I have scanned all the channels into the new device and that everything's working properly. You can see them all listed here. Um, I'm just going to hit scan, speed this up a little bit so you don't have to wait through the whole thing. Um, but then you've got all of the channels favorited. I'm just favoriting all of the ones that I want to make sure that Plex sees for my menu. Um, and I'm going to block the ones that I don't want Plex to bother with. And then as you get down to the bottom, you'll see channels here in the 100s. And those are the ATSC 3.0 channels. Um, so those are going to be kind of the, 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 the new next gen TV. So over in Plex, there's my guide. And I'm going to go to the, the settings tab here and scroll down to the live TV and DVR settings. Um, and here you're going to see, here's my, my original Connect Duo tuner. I'm going to add a new device. It automatically sees the, the Flex 4K. So I'm just going to make sure everything's set here. It's an antenna. And I'm going to enter my zip code to make sure that uh, it's syncing with the, the correct program guide. And here's the channels. And this is where you would map channels and customize what you see in the guide. Um, Again, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Everything looks looks the way I the way I wanted it here. Um, so let's continue to scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to look for these uh, ATSC 3.0 channels. You'll see they're not mapped, so I'm just going to select this one. I'm going to map it to 4. Point, I'm going to map 104.1 to 4.1, just so that it uh, attaches the right programming and scheduling guide information to that so and then we go through and we do it accordingly with all of the new channels okay. oh I need to make sure i'm using the digital channels because the new tuner does not see the analog channels and and one more and there we go and we click continue got everything mapped correctly okay and now we will click continue and it didn't seem to do anything. Get back to the top and there's a problem. Um, I tried this a couple more times. So I'm not gonna make it sit through it. Uh, again, I can't get it to, to go. So I did a little research to find that Plex is not com compatible with uh, ATSC 3.0 channels yet. So I just go through here and add it without trying to add the channels that Plex can't deal with and the guides here. Everything is up and running just fine. I've got all my channels in the guide. No ATSC 3.0 channels. Um, we'll, we'll wait. Uh, hopefully soon they'll have that. You can see here it's refreshing the guide data. And if we go back into the settings and look at the TV and DVR settings, you'll now see that both tuners are listed here. It shows how many available tuners on, on each device. Um, if there was a recording or a live viewing happening you'd, you'd see a red indicator for which tuner was using it but it's really as easy as that that's the the hd home run flex 4k that's the the quick connection process the quick and easy setup process and adding it to your plex dvr system so what do you think are you running one of these hd home run devices or or a different brand what what are your thoughts you have atsc 3.0 uh, programming in your area what are you seeing on that uh, on those signals? Are you seeing full 4K? How's it look? Is there any of the the extra information that's supposed to be available? Just curious what what other markets are doing with with that capability as well. So again, thanks for watching today. Hopefully you found some interesting information. Make sure you like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe to the AV Nirvana YouTube channel. Sign up over at the forum. A lot of really great conversations going on over there. A lot of great gear porn. A lot of people over there will help answer any questions you might have. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.